Are you new to Logic Pro for iPad but aren't sure where to start? In this video I'll share what I think you should do when you first download the app. Love it or hate it, Logic Pro for iPad is only available via a subscription pricing model. Though it does have a really generous free trial that I recommend anyone interested in the app takes advantage of ASAP. Once you download the app from the iOS App Store, you'll be prompted to try the app via the one month free trial that Apple offers and which subscription model you want, either yearly at $49 slash £49 or monthly at $4.99 or £4.99. Once you've picked which subscription you want to do, you'll be prompted to download three essential sound packs. The Studio Instrument Essentials Pack, Electronic Essentials Pack and the Hip Hop Essentials Pack. Altogether these packs come in at a little under 2GB and give you a core selection of loops, instrument patches and plug-in presets to get you started. There are many more sound packs available but before you dive into that I'd highly recommend you… Logic Pro for iPad is a deep and complicated DAW and the 40 interactive lessons currently available here are a great way to help you get your head around it. You should probably try to work your way through all of these lessons at some point but I'd recommend the following lessons at least before diving into the app proper. Logic Pro for GarageBand users If you're coming to Logic Pro from GarageBand or GarageBand then you'll definitely find this lesson useful. In it you'll learn stuff like how to find sounds and loops in the browser, how to create tracks, how to use play surfaces to play software instruments and how to download additional sound packs. You should also have a look at the record, edit and arrange lessons to gain a better understanding of how to find your way around the app and the work with plugins lessons which show you how Logic Pro for iPad's plugin tile system works and gives you an intro to the excellent Sample Alchemy, Beatbreaker, Chroma Glow and Quantic Room Simulator plugins amongst others. I'd also recommend checking out the overview of how Logic's mixer, buses and sends work. Logic Pro for iPad has 54 additional content packs available to download on top of the three essential packs you downloaded earlier. It's important to note that unlike GarageBand and Logic Pro on Mac, on iPad the two iOS versions of these apps do not share a sound library. So while GarageBand for iOS users may recognise some of these packs from their sound library, you'll still need to download them again to use them in Logic Pro for iPad. The whole shebang so the Logic Pro app itself plus all available content as of this video comes in at a little over 30 gigabytes. so make sure you have enough free space available. If you want to download absolutely everything the best way is to open the sound library either by opening the browser and tapping here from inside a project or from the home screen, hit manage packs and then tap get all next to all available packs. If you'd rather pick and choose what sounds to install, here are a couple of recommendations. 8-Bit Legends It's packed full of excellent nostalgia drenched alchemy patches, loops and samples. The alchemy patches in particular are brilliant in my opinion and if you're into creating synthwave or retrowave or just love that 80s aesthetic, this pack is a must have. Hybrid Textures is squarely focused on one of Logic Pro's most powerful but often overlooked features, Sample Alchemy. The vast majority of the loops that come with this pack are MIDI loops and patterns that use Sample Alchemy. The patterns in particular here are absolutely fantastic. The Studio Horns and Studio String sound packs are the largest available in the whole library and with good reason. The instrument sounds that come with these packs are just nothing short of phenomenal. The Modular Melodies pack is all about evolving arpeggios, 
complex textures and hypnotizing sequences. All of these loops and sampled sounds were captured from hardware modular synthesizers, and they pair really well with another one of Logic Pro for iPad sound packs, the Modular Rhythms Content Pack. And finally, the GarageBand sounds. If you're coming from GarageBand on iOS and plan to bring across your projects to Logic Pro, this pack is essential. It adds instrument compatibility, samples, and over 1,300 Apple loops. Speaking of opening GarageBand projects in Logic Pro for iPad, Apple have made the process really easy. With Logic Pro open, from the file screen, instead of tapping the plus icon to open a fresh Logic project, instead make your way to your GarageBand for iOS folder. Tap through, and when you've found the project file you want to open in Logic, go ahead and tap on it. A box will pop up telling you that a duplicate project will be created in Logic, and after a few seconds, it will open the project in the Logic Pro workspace. All plugins you had applied, including third-party AUV3s, will be present and correct, provided they're currently installed on your device. And you can just pick up where you left off. Logic Pro for iPad includes three AI-powered session players that can help you create almost lifelike instrumental performances to go along with the other tracks in your projects. At the time of making this video, there is a bass session player, a keyboard session player, and the drummer session player. All three come with loads of presets that help you quickly dial in a brilliant sounding musical accompaniment, plus each has a suite of controls and parameters that you can use to fine tune the performance. I have full in-depth walkthroughs on how to use all three of these AI session players on the channel. I'll link to those up in the corner here, here, somewhere, and also down in the description if you want to check those out. Unlike other iOS DAWs like GarageBand for example, where you have to switch to different screens to access different touch instruments, you can play any of Logic Pro's instrument patches using one of five playable surfaces. A straight up keyboard, drum pads, a fretboard, chord strips, or guitar strips. As I mentioned, there are full lessons for each of Logic Pro for iPads, more unique included plugins in the Learn and Explore section, but here's a quick rundown of some of my favourites. Beatbreaker is an audio effect that reorders incoming audio in real time, which allows you to slice up your audio, rearrange it, and add scratching effects. You can do some really weird things with Beatbreaker. But I found it to be especially useful for adding stutter type effects to melodies and drum patterns. It's really easy to get to grips with, and really great fun to use. The original Quantec Room Simulator Reverb was created back in 1982 by Wolfgang Wolf Buchleitner. Apple acquired Quantec and their tech a while back, and have now turned this rare and coveted hardware effect into an easily accessible plugin inside Logic Pro. And it is absolutely incredible. A 
fully integrated AI mastering suite, Mastering Assistant gives us Logic Pro for iPad users a really convenient and easy to use way to finalize our projects ready for release. When active, the Mastering Assistant analyzes your project and based on the analysis, may apply corrective EQ, adjust the loudness, or adjust the overall stereo spread of your project. It's a brilliant feature and one you won't see in any other iOS DAW. Right, that's what to do first in Logic Pro for iPad. Let me know your thoughts on it and if you plan to give that free trial a whirl down in the comments. I have full in-depth walkthroughs of pretty much every feature mentioned in this video linked down below. So give that like button a tap, then dive into those to find out more.